Well, I'm sure many of you have some kind of day planner or quarterly planner or yearly planner, or maybe you just use a, a calendar on your phone or computer. But the purpose of all these tools is not just to remind us of when we have appointments or meetings or vacations planned, but they're there to help us get our priorities straight, to make sure that we stay on the correct path, that we're being productive, that we're doing the right things. And so all these tools are there to make sure that we don't get distracted or sidetracked off of what is most important in our lives or for us and for our family and friends. And there's a verse in Hosea chapter 6 that reminded me of this concept that it's not just true for our business and our everyday lives, but it's also true for our spiritual lives. And so Hosea chapter 6 says this, Let us strive to know the Lord. And it's this invitation, kind of this, this calling to God's people to get our priorities straight in all of life, not just our work life or our family life, but also our spiritual life. And that our goal should be to strive to, to know God, to have an intimate relationship with Him. And as the prophet Hosea says this, reminds us that, hey, we need to take this seriously, that we need to have our priorities set to strive to know the Lord, that we need to put effort and time into it in our lives to get to know God better. He connects it with a promise and he says, when we do this, he, that is the Lord, will come to us like the rain, like the spring showers that water the land. And so the prophet Hosea is reminding us that when we get our priorities right, when we make an effort in our lives through our time and our energy, to, to know the Lord, to grow in our relationship with Him, that there's this beautiful promise of rest and grace and restoration that comes with it. And so this image of a springtime shower coming in and watering the land, giving us a harvest and flowers and life comes back to things. And so my encouragement to you is to make an effort to strive to know the Lord, to, to make that a priority in your life. To not just make it a last minute or last ditch effort or thing that, oh, well, I have a, f a spare few moments, now I'm going to do it. But that we would put it into our calendars and our planners and say, no, this is my time to strive to know the Lord for myself and for my family and my friends together. And there are two easy ways to do that, practical ways that you can start right now is being in God's Word daily. You know, there are lots of great reading plans out there that are free to follow and to work through. Maybe use a devotional that kind of guides you along. But whatever tool you use to be in God's Word every day, hearing what He has to say into your life and into your heart. And the other is prayer, where we respond. We read God's Word and He speaks to us in prayers where we get to speak to Him. We get to bring all of the things that are going on in our hearts and our lives to him, trusting him to refresh us and restore us. So seek to strive to know the Lord. Make him a priority in your life each and every day. God's peace to you.